Registered Phenomena Code 109 Object Class Beta Orange Hazard Types Newtonian Hazard Sentient Hazard Animated Hazard Aggression Hazard Containment Protocols RPC-109's host is to be contained in a reinforced steel cylindrical building, with a radius and height of 2 meters. This building is located approximately meters from Krasnorarsky Krai, Russia, and is to be maintained by on-site staff. No human activity or motion should occur within 1 km of RPC-109's containment, excluding RPC-109's entrance. The entrance to RPC-109's containment is a small rectangular room that can be moved to RPC-109's containment chamber by remote control. This entrance will hereby be referred to as the Rat Trap. Lights within RPC-109's containment cell and the Rat Trap are to remain active at all times, and are to be linked to at least three backup generators in the event of a containment breach. RPC-109's host is to be strapped to a medical bed within their containment by their appendages at all times. RPC-109's host is to be kept awake for periods of at least one week. RPC-109's host should be allowed to sleep for only six hours in between weekly periods of unrest. RPC-109-1 nutrition is to be administered through IV, alongside stimulants and anti-hypnotic drugs. RPC-109-1 is to be monitored for any changes in life signs. Changes in RPC-109-1 life signs should be reported immediately to a member of on-site Level 3 Plus personnel. In the event of RPC-109-1's imminent expiration, a member of CSD personnel is to be sent into the rat trap alone. RPC-109-1 should promptly be terminated with the use of a remotely administered potassium chloride lethal injection. At this time, halothane vapor sleeping gas, should be released into the rat trap to render the member of CSD personnel unconscious. Medical personnel are to enter the rat trap with protective gear and prepare them to take the place of RPC-109-1. The CSD personnel in question will hereafter be referred to as RPC-109-1. Description: RPC-109 is a shadow-like, parasitic, mind-altering anomaly, with the appearance of a distorted, smoke-like humanoid, with a stag skull and antlers. These features prolong and shorten, depending on the position of the moon in the sky. RPC-109 will seek out a human shadow to infect. RPC-109 infects shadows by making physical contact with them, causing him to absorb into the shadow instantaneously. Any human infected by RPC-109 is to be referred to as RPC-109-01. RPC-109's anomalous effects begin to manifest at any time from 5 minutes to 5 hours after infection. RPC-109-1 would then begin to experience cognitive effects that would persist for anywhere from 10 hours to 3 months. These cognitive effects will persist until RPC-109-1's termination. During this time, RPC-109-1's shadow will slowly begin to resemble RPC-109. Symptoms of RPC-109's infection typically begin as mild depression, and will progress into severe depression to the point where RPC-109-1 will frequently attempt conscious or unconscious suicide. Testing has revealed that RPC-109's effects act faster while RPC-109-1 is in an unconscious state. If RPC-109-1 is incapable of committing suicide, RPC-109 will begin altering RPC-109-1 subconsciously until all bodily functions cease. RPC-109 can only leave RPC-109-1 when RPC-109-1 expires. When RPC-109-1 expires, RPC-109 will attempt to infect the closest human shadow within 500 meter radius. If RPC-109-1 expires in an area 500 meters away from a source of light and a human shadow, RPC-109 will materialize. RPC-109 will proceed to hunt for a human shadow. If RPC-109 finds a life form without a shadow during this time, RPC-109 will proceed to violently rip flesh from their body at random, before consuming their cranium. It is noteworthy that RPC-109 will not rip flesh from the cranium during its rage. 
RPC-109 reported to be incredibly aggressive during this time and has a strong physical form, cited to be able to bash through reinforced steel with ease. Supplemental Information Recovery Log RPC-109 was recovered in the isolated town of Krasnorarsky Krai, Russia. The town was monitored for three months prior to recovery, due to a suicide rate five times the Russian national average. Remote drones were used to visually confirm RPC-109's existence by observing the shadow of the local priest, later identified as an instance of RPC-109-1-1. MST Yankee-3 Game Hunters was dispatched to the town. Game Hunters apprehended RPC-109-1 and transported them to mobile site. Inside the mobile pre-containment analytical room, RPC-109-1-1 used a screwdriver on a nearby table and drove it into its larynx. RPC-109-1-1 expired minutes afterwards. Researcher was found to be infected by RPC-109 later that month. Researcher, hereafter referred to as RPC-109-1-2, was apprehended and contained within a mobile containment cell. RPC-109-1 was contained inside of the containment cell for a period of two months, during which they were kept for observation. This caused RPC-109 to become aggressive, infecting personnel inside a mobile site and causing them to commit suicide in a period of one day. RPC-109 was subsequently recontained and transported to a Level 4 testing containment cell at on-site containment, causing three containment breaches until the current containment protocols were applied. RPC-109's total personnel death toll is All experiments attempting to neutralize RPC-109 have resulted in failure and authorization for further experimentation is pending. Addendum A RPC-109's rate of RPC-109-1 neutralization seems to be growing exponentially. The longer instances of RPC-109-1 remain non-terminated, the faster and more effectively RPC-109 has been able to infect new instances of RPC-109-1. Currently, RPC-109-1 is capable of instantly infecting conscious brain functions upon infection of RPC-109-1. If the rate of RPC-109's growth continues, Procedure 109-A Kazan, may have to be enacted. Procedure 109-A will require two soon-to-expire members of CSD personnel. Further details of Procedure 109-A Kazan have been redacted for your security access level. Director of Site